Here we have another set of functions, f of xy, h of xy, and p of xy, and they're asking us to evaluate these functions at a given point, x equals 5, y equals 1. Uh, also at another point, x equals negative 3, y equals 4. As well, they would like the domain of the function. So let's get started. Uh, let's write a a little bit better than that. Uh, the first one is f of x, y is equal to uh, the natural log of x squared times y. Uh, okay, so first we'd like to evaluate this at 5, uh, 1. So the function at 5, 1 is equal to wherever I see an x, I replace it by 5. Wherever I see a y, I replace it by 1. So I have ln of 5 squared times 1. Try that again. Ln of 5. Try that one more time. Ln of 5 squared times uh, times 1. Uh, of course, that's uh, 5 squared is 25. Uh, try that one more time. Uh, 5 squared is 25. Uh, 25 times 1 is just uh, 25, so this becomes the ln of 25, the natural ln of 25, which if you really want to, you could, uh, by writing this as 5 squared, you could write that as 2 ln 5. Okay, next we would like to know what the value of the function is at negative 3, 4. So negative 3, 4. This is equal to wherever I have an x I replace by negative three, wherever I have a y I replace by four. So this becomes the natural log of negative three squared times four, which is equal to negative three squared is nine. Uh, nine times four is 36. This becomes natural log of 36. And if we're really interested in writing it this way, we could realize that this is six squared. So this would become two ln six. Next, we're going to take a look, oh, domain. That's right, so let's uh, take a look at the domain. So again, in, in domain questions, uh, we're gonna let x and y be whatever they want, so they can be any real number we want, but what we wanna make sure is that we don't have any denominators equaling zero, we don't have any uh, even roots uh, having a negative inside, and we don't want any uh, logarithms to have a zero or negative inside. So let's take a look at uh, our function here. It, we don't have any even roots, we don't have any uh, denominators, but what we do have is a log. Uh, what we want to make sure is the thing that's going that that's inside the log. We don't want that ever to be uh, zero or uh, a negative number. So uh, first, we're going to write our domain as x and y or any real number we want. But we're going to start throwing out some values that we don't want to allow. Uh, if x is a negative number, um, that's okay because a negative number squared is going to be a positive number. So uh, that should be okay. But if y ever happens to be a negative number, we're going to have a negative times a positive. The x squared is always going to be positive. So a negative times a positive is going to give us a negative inside this lawn. So we want to make sure that y is greater than uh, or equal to, actually let's do greater than zero. So we want to make sure that y is always positive. Um, we also want to make sure that uh, we never have uh, y equaling zero. So that's taken care of here because if y was zero, um, that would make zero inside the lawn. But also we don't want x to be zero because zero squared um, would give us zero, um, but then we multiply by y, uh, any, any real number that y is, this would make it zero inside the lawn. So we also want to make sure that x does not equal zero. So that would be the domain of this function. function the next function, b, we have h of xy is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared. So h of xy is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared. And so first they would like us to evaluate this at five uh, comma one. So h at five comma one is equal to the square root. Uh, wherever I have an x, I'm gonna replace by five. So I have five squared, try that again, five squared. And wherever I have a, uh, a y, I'm gonna replace it by one. So that's one squared. That becomes the square root of 25 plus one, which is the square root of 26. Uh, and I think I'll just leave it like that. Next, they would like us to calculate the value of h at the point uh, negative three, four. Uh, so here I'm gonna replace all the x's by negative three, all the y's by positive four. So I get the square root of negative three squared plus four squared. And uh, if I actually calculate that, negative three squared is nine plus four squared, four squared is 16, nine plus, six, or nine plus 16 is 25. And of course the square, the positive square root of 25 is five. Okay, so now let's talk about the domain of this function. 
as always, the domain is going to be anything that we want. X and Y are real numbers. However, we're going to start throwing out numbers that uh, are not allowed. So uh, again, we want, uh, want to avoid situations where the, there's a zero in the denominator. Um, there is no denominator in our function H. We want to avoid uh, any chance of a zero or a negative inside of a lawn uh, or a log. We have none of those. Uh, so the only thing we're left with is we do have this uh, square root, which is an even root. Um, and we want to make sure that there's no negative numbers uh, going into here. Now, uh, no matter what we plug in for x, if it's a positive number, negative number, doesn't matter. When we square it, it's always going to be a positive number or zero, I guess. Uh, same thing for y. So we're always going to get either uh, maybe uh, some zeros in here or some positive numbers. So no matter what, we're always adding positive numbers to positive numbers or zeros to zeros or zero to positive numbers, whatever the combination. There is no way we can ever get any negative number coming out of x squared plus y squared. So there's no real restriction we have to put on x and y. x and y can just be anything we want. So the domain is x and y is in the real numbers. So finally, uh, the last function that we have is uh, the square root of x minus y. So p of x, y, p of x, y is equal to the square root of x minus y. And the first thing that they would like to do is they would like us to evaluate this at 5 comma 1. So uh, we're going to replace all the x's by 5, all the y's by 1. We get 5 minus 1, which is equal to the square root of 4, which we know is equal to 2. Uh, next, um, we're going to try to evaluate this at negative 3, 4, negative 3, 4. And we plug this in, we have the square root of, I'm going to replace all the x's by negative 3. Oops. Replace all the next x's by negative 3, and all the y's by 4, negative 3 minus 4, which gives us the square root of negative 7. Um, so that's not good, because we have a negative inside of square root. Uh, so we're uh, going to uh, cancel this out and say not possible. At least it's not possible for real numbers. Possible. So it's not possible to evaluate this function. It's not defined uh, for the uh, for x equals negative three and x equals four, which leads us to the domain of this function. So as always, the domain is going to be any real number. We're going to let x and y be anything that we want. However, uh, we don't want any zeros in any denominators. We don't have any denominators. We don't want any zeros or negatives inside any logs. We don't have any logs. But we do have an even root, and we don't want things to be negative inside the even root. So we want to make sure that x minus y is greater than or equal to 0. Uh, as long as this thing is uh, 0 or larger, uh, then this will be a positive number, and we have no problem taking the square root of a positive number. Um, we can rearrange this, and what that would mean is we always just want to make sure that uh, whenever we're plugging in points, that the x value is always greater, to, greater than or equal to a y value. Now, if we look at the point we tried to plug in, negative 3, 4, we can see right away that the x value that we had was negative 3, the y value was 4, and this is a case where uh, the x value is not greater than the y value. In fact, it's less than the y value, in which case this is why we can't actually plug it into our function. So that's why we want to exclude points like this. So we only want to allow uh, uh, real numbers x and y such that the x is greater than or equal to y.